Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, in the news, we might have been uh, hearing a lot about the chip shortage. So what exactly is happening right now and how come we have arrived to this problem? So there's several factors that are happening that create this problem. So PCs, computers, smartphones, all the electronics we use today actually use chips, microchips of all sorts. It could be memory chips, uh, processors of all kinds, and controllers. And of course, these need to be manufactured in a very controlled environment. And so the amount of manufacturers has dwindled over years because of buyouts. A lot of big companies like Samsung purchased other companies making chips. And what happens is that everything becomes concentrated into one big plant or very few different plants around the world. So one of the things that by, you know that happens is, of course, by making all the chips in one or two places, of course, you save money. So the chips can be sold at lower prices. But the disadvantage is that if one plant is hit with something like a uh, it could be, uh, you know, bad weather, um, a hurricane, for example, or anything that, you know, flooding and so on. We've seen that over the years. The, the plant might have to stop production for a certain time while they get back on track. Well, because they are the maker of a lot of chips, um, they are, of course, are creating a shortage of parts around the world. The other uh, factor right now that is uh, happening is COVID. In the last year and a half, lots of plants, because of employees getting sick, because of restrictions in different countries, had to shut down production because they just couldn't have the employees working. And what happened is these plants, of course, didn't produce any parts while that was happening. That also helped create a shortage of chips. Now, plants are back and a lot of them are back to relatively normal levels, but there's still parts of the world where, um, you know, it's, it's kind of slow. And um, so, you know, this is hitting hard the industry right now because chips are today's gold, basically. This is, you know, you can't, we can't live without these manufacturing plants and chips now. And what happens is now the PCs, Oh, you'll get a PC if you want to have a new one, but you'll have to either wait for it. So if you want to have a specific model, for example, the uh, company might actually tell you, well, you know, you, you're going to get this only in three months from now because we don't, you know, we don't have them in stock. We can't make enough of them. Smartphones, same thing. You might have a, chor a shortage of s uh, specific models that you want because they're popular models and the company can't. Um, you know, produce enough because they have uh, missing chips. So computers uh, might also, and it, we see it, the prices of computers have gone up. Why? Because of demand. And with the fact that there were more people asking for new computers in the last year, that also increased the problem of the shortage of chips. A lot of manufacturers also got kind of, um, you know, surprised by the demand as PC sales were actually going down, you know, manufacturers, big companies like HP and, and Lenovo and so on decided that, you know, well, we don't need to manufacture as many computers as before, so we could shut down some plants. Then comes COVID, everybody works from home, everybody needs a new PC, and that also created a lot of stress on the demand of chips. Is that going to be resolved soon? It depends where you look and depends who you ask, but everybody agrees that within the next year or two, the, ship, the, the chip shortage is still going to be a problem. But as time goes by and as hopefully COVID and any other factors uh, aren't too bad, slowly manufacturing will ramp up and of course more and more of these chips will be built. and eventually we'll be back to a certain normal but it's not for today it might take a couple of years i believe personally that you know not before probably 20 
2023 or 2024, will we maybe be back to a normal level of uh, manufacturing of electronic chips and, you know, more of a normal level? We expect the PC sales also to go down again in the next year, year and a half. Why? Because, you know, people are going back slowly to the office, don't need that PC as much. They bought a PC last year. That's going to last for the few years that come. And so that will also remove a part of the strain on the manufacturing of chips. But uh, for now, it is a problem. And uh, it shows that sometimes the way we uh, manufacture, the way we take everything and decide, hey, we'll use one plant to produce all the chips, it's not always a good idea. And um, the more plants and the more places around the world make these, the better it is. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.